right, so let's give it a test run and see how well this is going to do. Okay, so back here and uh, refresh. And let's hit uh, delete at this point. Okay. Now, um, let me come back here to my to the database and let's see if uh, any of these have changed. And as you can see, deleted sender. So let's make sure that we are the sender of this message. That's uh, ID number 2043. Okay. Now, uh, let me go back here to delete.php. Of course, we need to be able to header back like this so i'll put that there or instead of repeating the code like this what i could do is just move this code down here so i'll move this down here like this that way whichever way we go we end up with the redirect so let's try that again Clicking the delete button here is what is known as, uh, I don't know that word, uh, idempotent or something like that. I'm not really sure the word, but it means uh, I can click it multiple times and it won't have an effect on, a drastic effect on the situation. Okay, so delete and we are here. But as you notice, we still see the message. Okay, so that's an easy fix there. So we have to know when to switch off the message if it has a delete one specifically now this has an easy fix of course so let's go to messages class and let's see where we read from so not read one but uh, we may want to do that here as well but we are coming here to where it reads multiple of them now remember let me come back here if for example the way this is here deleted sender so the sender deleted this so the sender should not be able to see this and if the receiver deleted it they shouldn't be able to see it either so we just have to modify our query here yeah, really simple so let me come back here so of course I will say where it says select all from user where sender is equal to me, right? So we'll put some more and here. So if sender is me, we'll put an and here. But let's see if we can simplify this query a little bit. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, no, I think this is fine. So if the sender is equal to me, right? And let's put an and right there. And deleted sender is not equal to, oh, this is equal to where necessary, is equal to zero where possible, I mean, like this. So if the sender is me and deleted sender is equal to zero, so it's not deleted and the sender is me, and we have the same situation here. So I will copy this. I'll actually copy the bracket as well. Paste. Opening bracket there. So let's see the logic here. If sender is equal to me, good and deleted uh, sender deleted is zero mm -hmm. so now if this is one uh, then this will not pass the one with the sender where the sender is me and the delete is one meaning i deleted that it won't work and receiver same thing here okay I think we can simplify this a little bit more. So sorry about that. Let me just uh, undo this a little bit. Ooh. 
let me undo this a little bit yes okay so in this whole thing let me move this part right there I will move it outside here okay so now in this scenario where sender is equal to me and receiver is the other person this means that in this particular scenario I am the sender so in a situation where I am the sender and the other person is a receiver the only time I should care is when about the deleting section is when the sender deleted it so which means we can combine all this together and add it to this so all I need to do is add a close bracket over here and then it will ask if this is true where I am the sender and the other person is the receiver and also it has to be true that deleted is equal to zero for the sender because it doesn't really matter for the receiver if it is zero because that's the other side so if this is true then we can retrieve that okay but also it has to be true on the other side so let me copy this part again so here where I am the receiver we should only care if the receiver deleted the message so sender and receiver like so and then let's put a close bracket over here okay I think this makes some sense but we will only know when we try it so let me refresh the data and as you can see now we have removed that one so let me try and remove the very first message here how are you and then I will delete and as you can see it's showing that it's been deleted now to confirm that we haven't actually deleted this from the other side let me log out and log in as this user so I'll log out log in as the other user and what I expect is to see all of the messages still intact so I'll go to Mary's profile and say messages and as you can see the messages are all there so one user has deleted theirs but this one has not so in this one I could choose to delete maybe the first one let's try that so that we know that it works even on this side of the fence and as you can see it actually works okay so very good very good now before we go one last thing we need to do is um, we need to be able to to upload um, an image here so I think that process might take a while so let's do that in the next video